Hello my CNC brother or sister, I'm Garrett with IDC Woodcraft and welcome to this little weekend update video. It seems that all the videos I've been making lately are weekend update videos and that's because this IDC business has been growing pretty significantly. I am now at a point where I have not been able to handle things all by myself and I've had to bring some brothers and sister CNCers on board to start helping me out a little bit. So that's, it. I mean, it's a, it, it's, it's hard when you can't handle everything, but it's a good problem to have. And really it, you, you are the one that has allowed all this to happen. So I so much want to thank you. So I got a few things I want to share with you here in this video. And at the last thing, you definitely want to hang around to that because it has to do with you. Okay, so first I just want to tell you what's going on. Over the last couple weeks, I actually had to unplug from work for a little bit because I was so overwhelmed. I get so many emails and comments and all that and, and it, it just takes a long time to handle all that and the business logistics that are going on now to take the IDC business to the next level has been very, very challenging. <clears throat> And as you know, I am now in the Dragon 100 advisory group, a very high level thing. And that has consumed a lot of my mental time as well as I've been learning from my mentor, Next Level Business. So that's what's kind of been going on. But I did go to Tennessee for the Easter weekend to spend some time with the family. First time in a couple of years, so it was very nice to have that. And then last weekend, went down to Florida for a wedding on the beach. And that was the best, right? I just was able to sit on the beach and let things process. So it's very nice. <clears throat> so here's what's going on now, right? You see the table here. This is the new home for the Long Mill 30 by 48. The extension kit uh, machine is, is pretty much assembled. There's some wiring I have to do to it yet, but this is the extension kit. That puppy is big, it's long. I mean, I get tired just walking the whole distance of this thing, but I think it's really cool. I need you to put down in the comments what you think I should make on a 30 by 48 machine. I want to make something just taking up that full space. I'm not gonna tile, I just wanna make something that size. So put some comments, some suggestions down in the comments, if you would please, because that's gonna be my demonstration for myself. And then of course, I'll make a video of whatever project I put together. So it's a big table, it's six foot long six foot by four foot so that's the that's the new long mill plus i've got the 30 by 30 now i've got the mk2 sitting over there which gets assembled next and that will be mounted on this table here <coughs> all right i need a drink of something okay so i want to share with you some other things that are happening i i've been working with g sender with the um uh, wireless game controller so I'm going to shoot a video on that and long mill has actually put out a very cool very very cool new touch probe and this puppy actually finds the bit you don't have to make sure you put in the right size bit before you set your zero points this probe will actually determine the size of your bit and you can do it with V bits which is like ultra cool and it'll, it's just, I'll do a video on that, but it's, it's definitely interesting. Also, also, I, I'm going to be releasing rounding, roundover bits soon. A lot of people have asked me about roundover, right? You cut out your letters, you want to round it out on the edges and stuff. So uh, I need to get that set up. Uh, so I've got a couple of my samples right now. And once I get all that proved out, then I will release those with all the settings. So one of the things I want to share with you, remember there's the other thing I got to share with you. When it comes to the business end of IDC Woodcraft and what you have enabled to help me accomplish, a big dream of mine, right? Is to make a difference in the lives of people. Like, help you create, become a creator with your CNC machine and give you the best guidance I can. Um, but it's, it's deeper than that. But I want to share this with you, that it's really about going after our creative self, right? The, that thing that we've always felt inside, that like the calling to do something that belongs to us. 
and that's our creation, right? And so that is really my message to on this channel, right? Is to go live your best self because you know there was a time when I was not in a good place. A couple of times in life, you know that my wife passed away and my best friend passed away, and both of those really changed my perspective on life. And that's when I decided I'm going to go get my whatever it is that I am going to go after. But I also felt lost. I got to a point about four years ago where I literally was holding my pistol to my head, you know, and uh, th I had that, that moment where I just said, I can, I have two choices now. I can either pull a trigger and not just end it for me, but hurt a lot of people in the process, but, e but even bigger, how many people would have not been helped had I done that, right? What I've been doing here with the channel. The other thought was, was I can put this thing down and, and I can figure out what it is that I have to do. And so now I know, right? It's my passion of teaching you. So that's it. And so I got this big, huge dream, right? You, you've probably heard it, dream big. <laughs> dream big as you possibly can and so that's what I'm doing right I want to grow the IDC business get all the people in place who who can help others have the same passion and mission as I do to help as many people on the planet as possible express their creative side build their own thing go after their own life so that's that's what I'm trying to build here. I want IDC Woodcraft to be the number one most well-known business on the planet. That the one that truly, truly helps CNCers, right? You, our brothers and sisters. And so now I, I have to really create that vision, right? The uh, this is the book I'm reading now, and this was written by the guy that um, started the company One Eight Hundred Got Junk, and it's all about really painting that vision. And it's funny because the people I'm starting to get in place in the business to, to help out, there's two missions here, right? For them to be part of this dream and for me to help their dreams come true, right? It's, it's all about us going after our stuff, right? That, that, that calling inside. And, and so it's the entrepreneurial spirit type of people that, that seem to be coming in to be doing this kind of stuff. One other thing, two other things before I check out on the weekend and, and I'm going to go down to the craft brewery and have a beer and relax. But you have known IDC Woodcraft as that right there. There we go. That's been the logo for the last year and a half, right? Since the, since the business has been going. And if you've ordered sets for me, that's the kind of sticker you get right there. But I knew that I needed to change this logo. And so I worked on it for quite a while and I've actually paid people quite a bit of money. You'd be surprised how much logo, really good logo design costs. And I had so many uh, things to choose from. And I picked like the top 10 that I put it out to you and other people on the, face, on the CNC Entrepreneurs Facebook group and some other CNC groups, CNC Entrepreneurs Facebook group. If you're not in that, get in it. That's a group that I put together for people to, uh, who want to start a CNC business. So anyway, I put, put the, um, the new designs out there and this is the new IDC logo now. And between you and me, my dream is to make the IDC CNC router bits the number one most well-known recognized brand in the CNC industry. And so that's what this whole logo is based on, right? The, the tough, right? I mean, that's the way I have them designed, right? And, and it's just... Yeah, <laughs> that's just it. Okay, so I've been talking a lot to you. I'm very excited. I hope you can feel my, my joy, my energy right now. After going to Florida, that really enabled me to set my head straight in what I'm going to be doing in, in, with this business. And I want you to be part of this journey as well. You're already on the journey with me, right? Um, but I want you to stay on the journey, right? 
wait till you see what's coming up. I mean, wait till you see what's coming up in a month. Now, CNC insiders are going to get to know about this far ahead of public, right? If, if you're not on the CNC insiders list, you won't find out about this for another month, what's going to be happening. CNC insiders are going to learn in about two weeks, right? Big, 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 big deal, right? I'm super excited about it. Uh, I'm going to give you a quick, quick tour, right? Just outside, outside my shop. It's nice out now for most people, except for a couple friends I know up in Canada. So when you come out the side door, you come out to this alley here, this little town of Madison. It's so cool. I love this town. It's so artsy. There's stuff going on every weekend when the weather gets nice. So the stuff's going to start happening next month. And there's, this is a, um, what do you call it, Airbnb. And the lady that owns it, Susie, she's really nice. And see that sign right there? I want to make that. Stable Masters Quarter. I got a friend who lives out in Colorado. I met on the Pacific Crest Trail when I hiked it. Uh, she's a, a, a horse trainer in that, so I want to make that for her and send it out to her. And then up there is the back of my apartment. So this is just a quick, the quick tour, right? <laughs> so we're going to head back inside. I'll get the door here. And that's, 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 my day, right? We got that machine there. The MK2, right, is going to get built. It's going to go on this table. And then we got a couple of cool things coming up in about a month. If you want to know ahead of time about that, get on the CNC Insiders list. Join the CNC Entrepreneurs Facebook group if you want to learn how to do business. There's 18,000 people in that membership in that thing now. I have been getting reports on that from some people that, you know, you always have buttheads that get into groups and they just don't have nice comments. I have to tell you, I can't stop that directly. I, there's so many posts I can't read them, right? So I have three administrators and what you need to do is report a post if you see a post you don't like and we will decide if it's inappropriate and if it is absolutely inappropriate, we'll, I've got zero tolerance policy, they'll get blocked from it, period. That's just the way it goes. Okay. <laughs> that was a lot to tell you. It's a great day. It's a great weekend. Lots going on. I'm very excited about life and I'm excited that you're here. And I'm, I'm so grateful that you're on this journey with me of something that's been my dream, right? And you have, you're the one that has made this happen. And now going to the next level. I'm putting together a list of all the, 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 the positions, right, if you will, that I need. It's not going to, I'm not quite sure how I'm putting this together yet, but I got some big stuff coming up over the next year. Big, big plans. That's why I'm talking to my mentor, right? <laughs> That's why I got into the Dragon 100 advisory group, because I don't know how to get to where I want to go, but I want to get there, and I'm going to. And that's the thing of an entrepreneur. If you want to get in the CNC business, this is one message I want to give you. It has to be a burning desire, right? You have to just let it out and say, I'm going to go after it no matter what it takes, no matter how hard it is, right? It gets hard sometimes. And the higher you go, the harder it gets. And so there's this long quiet period of, I want to say challenge, personal challenge, that frustration of wanting to give up and uh, throw it in the towel. But when you get that bug, that entrepreneurial bug, and you, you just have this thing inside of you that you know, you know if you let go of it, you will never, never forgive yourself. And when that bug bites, there's no stopping you. And that bug is a bug that I have. 